Hello, everybody. Oh, let me turn live chat on so I can see everyone. Happy Sunday night. Hi, Terry. It has been a long Sunday for me. I hope everybody got some crafting done. Oh, you guys are coming on in. Say hello, don't be shy. Hi, Tracy. Oh, let me turn my country music off. You guys can probably hear that in the background. Uh, dur, dur, dur. Okay. Hi, Bonnie from New Hampshire. Okay, so I see some of you guys have jumped on. I just want to show you guys what I've been working on today. Um, as most of you know, hi, Jenny. Hi, Melanie. Um, I was at the Allentown Heirloom Rubber Stamp Show on Friday. By far, best stamp show of the year. And I'm really happy to see a lot more vendors than in the last couple of years. So it looks like we have an uptick in vendors, which is good. That means that our hobby is surviving and doing well. So once again, I implore you, if you can get to one of these stamp shows, the um, Stamp Scrap Art Tour, which is SSAT, or the Heirloom Rubber Stamp Show. The Heirloom Rubber Stamp Show was way better. A lot of vendors picked up a lot of good stuff. That's all I'm going to say about that. All right, so... This is another card I made with the Cougarlicious stamp set um, from Creative Vision Stamps. You can see I used that middle foiling piece I foiled with the Cougar foil the other night. And um, I drew a little floor down here with some Copic markers for her. And I made her kind of a, a dirty blonde, like a light brunette instead of just blonde. And I, I think I like this one better than the first one. Now, the blonde card... Um, is at the Creative Vision Stamps booth. So I gave that to Laura. So if you see the blonde one, you know that I made it. Hi, Robin. Hi, Emily. Okay, guys. Um, this was the cards that I put together from using the um, We Are Memory Keepers foil quill foil in the Gemini foil press machine. So I just threw those on some cards and made some pretty little cards with those. I'm really happy with the way that they came out. Pretty good. These two are part of videos that I shot today. They will go up this week. These are both made from the same stamp. I did this for Terry. Um, and this one I colored in with chalks. The sentiment, sentiment is from Impression Obsession us friends always the stamp and this cloud stencil were both from blue night rubber stamps and the little birds were from the crafters companion fairy set they were the little um what do you call those little stubby stamps and then this one i made an evening look same stamp set and i used distress oxides on this one and you can see it has a little bit of a starry sky there so same same stamp colored two eight so um, these two videos will be going up this week. You guys saw these already. I still have to pick winners tonight and mail those out. This is another video I post I made today. Um, so remember the other night we made the pineapple. And so all I did here was I used the waste foil and foiled it on a piece of toner paper. And then this pineapple, I colored and cut out and popped him up. So you'll see him on the um, foiling waste video or uh, foiling double foiling, you could call it. Hi, Barbara. And then I made these little Easter, Easter. Um, these are all out of the Creative Vision Stamps Foilables Easter kit. So that's rainbow foil there. You see that? And then the eggs were actually foiled in Seaside Cabana, and I colored them in with Zig markers. And then that is Creative Vision's uh, foil paper in the background. Here's another one with rainbow eggs in the background. 
guys see all that glitter or foil, I should say. So rainbow eggs in the background and then their foil and one of their sentiments. And then this one is probably my favorite. For this, um, I double foiled the eggs. So these eggs were foiled twice. So they were foiled with a design and then foiled again. So um, I believe I have that video being posted tomorrow night or Wednesday night. So you guys can see how I did that. But double foiled the eggs and the background. But this one is so cute. I really love these little eggs. And then here's another one. That confetti foil in the background there. And then another double foiled egg. He's actually turquoise and purple. And then this Happy Easter is cut out of glitter paper. And that is from, I think that's an impression obsession die as well. And then this one is the Elizabeth Craft Designs. Um, it was the $5 die that I got at the beginning of the month. So this is their egg. And then in the background, it's that shimmer sheets paper. So it kind of has this mother of pearl look. And then the, uh, what do you call it? The scribbles, the zigzags are um, Creative Vision stamps foilables that I foiled in like this pink foil. And it's their glitter paper. So the glitter paper and the foil matches. But I just thought it was so cute. And then I think on the inside, I did put, yeah, a happy Easter sentiment on the inside of this. So this video, you'll see how I kind of made everything. I didn't put all the cards together in the video. But that video is going up. So I made all of these cards. And of course, people want cards sent to them, right? Hint, 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 hint. Hint, hint, hint. Okay. So how do you get your name on the card list? You're going to um, email me your address, but also if you can join me at Nancy Stamps 15 on my Facebook page and also my Instagram. So Nancy Stamps 15 on Instagram and Facebook. That will get you extra points for me to mail you one of these cards. And again, you can email me nancystamps15 at gmail.com, your address, and I'll check to see if you have an Instagram and a Facebook following for me, and you will get one of these cards. Hi, Anne-Marie. All right, so today's card is going to be a little different. I picked up this Local King Rubber Stamps um, kimono set. It's called All Wrapped Up. Now, I will say this. I went and looked at my receipts today, and I probably paid more than I should have paid, but I got wrapped up in the moment. So I want to say the stamp set was $14, and then the dies were 20 some dollars. So if you have a scan and cut, a brother scan and cut, I can totally justify your costs when dies are starting to get pretty expensive. Um, but um, I wanted to, I, if, I will link uh, Lisa Yang's, Facebook or sorry, Lisa Yang's YouTube channel. She's the owner of Local King Rubber Stamps. She always does beautiful stamping and ideas and I'm kind of casing her her ideas on this. So if you guys want to follow along with me and then go check out her video and see how I did compared to her video. Now, one of the tips I want to give you um, with their dies, you want to cut out a template. So again, you want to use heavy, thick weight paper and you want to keep that as your template. So I am just going to cut this down. So this is my template. And it's easier to use the template and stamp than to cut out, than to stamp and cut out the dies. Normally I stamp and then cut out my images. Um, but with, with their dies, because they are so intricate and you can't see all the way through them, it's better to have one of these templates made up. Hi, Anne-Marie. Thank you, Jenny. Okay, so I've cut out a couple of these. And I did have one. I, tr I tried to be a little prepared for tonight's live because I didn't want you guys to be on here too long. So this one I cut out of um, origami paper. So you can see I cut it out there. And she had heat embossed her image um, with gold heat embossing. So again, I am casing her idea. Copy and share everything. 
Oh, I need to take my little foam pad out of here because this is a red rubber stamp. Okay. And we want to kind of, you can feel around to where the stamp should go. It's almost like a puzzle. And once it's in place, it won't move anywhere. It's stuck. Okay, and now I'm going to put this origami paper in there. Do, do, do. I'm going to take my anti-static tool and dust all of that off. Yes, Terry, I had a very crafty day. It was just Leah and I. Xavier decided he didn't want to come today. He stayed with his dad for the weekend. And so Leah and I just kind of hung out. There is a piece of fuzz all over my stamp here. There we go. I haven't used a stamp set yet, so hopefully this won't be a disaster. All right, I'm going to ink it up with some Versamark ink. There's just dust flying around everywhere. I don't know where it came from. Okay. Have my little coffee filter ready. And I'm going to be using, wow, 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 wow. Pearl gold sparkle embossing glitter. That's a mouthful. And it's very faint because the lines are very dainty. I'm going to heat emboss this. I'm trying not to touch it. I really enjoy watching glitter get embossed because it goes from dull to shiny and it's like, it's like magic. Just taking a little brush and brushing off some of that glitter. And there we have, can you guys see the lines are embossed in gold? So the die itself is very detailed. There we go. But now the edges of the stamp are in gold, the little bow and things like that. So not a big thing, but just makes it look pretty. So I have a card base already made up. Now I have embossing powder everywhere. Um, so we have this pearlescent card base and all I'm going to do here is take some glue now this is the piece of paper I cut the kimono out of so I'm going to reuse it and I made sure when I cut it that I didn't cut off of the edge so that there would be enough room for me to cover up where I'd cut it if that makes sense
And then I cut a piece of this tonic paper, and I want to say thank you to Janie for sending me a sample of this tonic paper. And I believe this is cut to five and a half by two and a quarter. Yes. And I'm going to cover up that negative space where we pulled the die out of. And then I have this tiny piece of gold. Um, it's like gold matte cardstock. I think this is Tonic or Crafter's Companion. It's one of those two. Pulled it out of my stash. And I'm just going to lightly slide that under this edge here. So we just want a little hint of that gold to come out. It's not an overpowering gold. It's a very light shimmer of almost like a pearlescent gold. So it kind of matches our embossing powders. Now this paper is pretty flimsy. So I have a um, cutout of the same die, but on a little bit thicker cardstock here. Give that a second to set in place. This is all pretty much glued down. And then I think we will pop it up. Where are my pop dots? I think I used them all earlier today. Where did I put them? Oh, here we go. And then I think what I'll do is I'll save this and do like a banner sentiment and put it right there when I'm ready to use it. So we have this nice Asian looking card. So that's one way that she made a card. Now the second way she made a card is also pretty simple. So the stamp set comes with two stamps. It comes with the outline stamp and it comes with the um, more fuller stamp and that's if you want to color it in with like watercolor markers and so on. This one also has this a little flower. So what she did was again she stamped out one of the images and we are going to take the little flowers here on a little block. And I got to tell you guys, I've been playing with these Versify and Claire inks all day. I am in love with these inks. Love, 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 love. All right. So I'm using Charming Pink and Purple Delight. And all she did was just kind of ink them up. Just contaminated my ink pad. That's okay. We'll clean it up. So it's like we made our own decorative kimono here. And then she, what did she do? Oh yeah, she grabbed another piece of paper. Oh, 
Oh, that one's too short. Well, we'll see if this works anyway. I'm gonna clean our stamp off. I don't know if she used glossy paper or regular paper. We'll find out in a second here. She took her Versam Versamark ink pad and she stamped some of these flowers down. Then she took a brayer and she inked up her brayer and I'm gonna do pink on one side and purple on the other side. And she kind of did this ombre thing. Oh my gosh, I don't know if this is going to work or not. Well, it's trying to work. And hers was a lot better than mine, so I'm guessing she used glossy paper. <laughs> because then her designs pop, the little white flowers. I mean, they're kind of popping through here. It was like a resist, but I think she must use glossy paper. And hers looked way cooler than <laughs> mine does. I'm going to get a piece of glossy paper. Hold on. Let's try that again. Let's grab that. Hi, Deb. I'm just making a mess. Let me cut this down. All right, so I'm going to do, oh gosh, I don't want to mess up. I think I did, yeah. Pink on this side, purple on this side. Oh, I didn't stamp my flowers. Okay, I'm gonna stamp left-handed. There's a piece of hair in that one. Okay. Now let's do this. Okay, let's try this again. Take two. I'm starting in the middle and then I'm going to work my way left and right here. So we can try to get this ombre. Oh, that worked much better that time. Okay. So I'm going to say glossy paper is the secret. There it is. We have this purple pink ombre. Woohoo! Grab a little paper towel. And we're going to rub right over our flowers. No, no, Nance, no. <laughs> Messed them up. Okay, I don't know what happened there. Maybe I just have to wait for that Versa Mark to dry. I lost a flower. Let me see if I can get that back. There we go. Cheated, got it back.
All right, we're going to give that a second to dry. Now that my fingerprints are all in it. Can't leave well enough alone, can I? All right, I'm, I'm going to leave it alone. All right, we'll clean that later. Let me take a heat tool and try to dry this. Okay, and then the last thing she did was she took a background stamp, which was like a scripty background stamp. Of course, I don't have one of those. All right, we have one from Impression Obsession. I believe it's in French. I'm not sure. And we're going to take the darker ink. Was it the darker? No, I think she took the pink ink. Well, she did like reds and orange. pretty cool. Okay. So again, I'm going to heat that up so that ink can dry. Probably still a little wet again because we're using glossy cardstock there it takes a second for that to dry but then you would assemble your card so we have this cool ombre background and then we have our kimono that we made same thing so that's basically the gist of what lisa yang did on her um cards um, again, I will link her video for you guys so you can see. Um, but pretty cool, pretty neat. Make it a mess, right? What do you guys think? Hi, Karen. Who's Patricia Hauser, Sandra? But again, use what you have. Um, but that I thought that that cool, you know, that Versamark method using the um, the brayer and the inks was pretty neat. <laughs> Karen, I said if you want one of the cards I made because I made a whole bunch in the last couple weeks. Um, Join me on Instagram and Facebook. It's Nancy Stamps 15 on Instagram and Facebook. And then send me your email. Uh, uh, e send me your address by email. The email is nancystamps15 at gmail. And some lucky winners will get the cards. Terry says, I'm buffering. Ah, thanks, Karen. Am I still buffering, guys? Thanks, Barbara. Barb, I saw you got a nice haul from the stamp show. You got that pop and flip die, it looked like, too, right? The twist and pop die. All right, so there we go, guys. 
Again, I will be giving away some cards. And I have to go get Miss Leah so we can pick an 8,000 subscriber giveaway. If your name is picked, I will email you. You will have 48 hours to respond to my email with your address, if I don't already have your address, so that I can send you your prize. Um, do we want to see what's in the prize? Do you guys want to see the prizes, what I'm giving away here? You've seen most of it. Karen says, yes. I mean, I can make it a surprise surprise to whoever gets it. I think it's a pretty cool little prize pack. Because you guys are awesome. Anne Marie says, of course. I am losing embossing powder left and right here. Okay, I'm just trying to clean up here so we can get the prizes on the desk without dumping everything else on the desk over. All right. Just going to lift everything out of the way here. I'm moving. I'm moving. Okay, for the 8,000 subscriber giveaway, I cannot believe that we are at 8,000. You guys are truly amazing. I appreciate every single one of you guys. When you guys watch my videos and give me thumbs up, and even when you guys make comments and give me your feedback, I always appreciate positive feedback, or you ask me to make videos on certain things. I try my best to accommodate for you guys. Um, but I always appreciate your interactions as well. So for 8,000 subscribers, and these are all items I bought. These are not free things that I get. I pay for these things. And I'm going to send them out to you guys. Okay, so the first thing on here is the Rangers Letterit Embossing Technique Kit. Um, I don't even think I've opened this yet. Okay, so in here you are going to get... I remember Carol Duvall. Okay, it looks like you're getting some specialty card stock. I'm trying to see what it says. Okay, five pages of gray card stock. One embossing ink pad. One letterate medium bullet point pen. So I'm guessing this is an embossing pen. You're getting a stamping block. You're getting three colors of embossing. You are getting gold white and navy and these are all rangers so you know they're good quality and you're getting this stamp set oh yay hello thanks happy friend birthday congratulations so you can either use these to stamp out and trace them if you want to practice lettering or you can use them and stamp them out and emboss them to make a cool lettering kit so i just thought it was super cool and since i know lettering is like the big thing right now i thought that was something you guys would like to have oops Hi, D. Better late than never, D. Okay. I already showed you guys these two. You guys are going to get the stencil, and I used it in a video that's going to be posting this week. So you have the cloud stencil with the small clouds here. You have wider clouds on this side of the stencil. This side of the stencil can be rolling hills, or you can turn it this way and use it as waves. So a lot of things you can do with this stencil. And you're going to get one of the handles with the metal on it for the um, ink pads from Blue Knight Rubber Stamps. And the way that that works is you put it on the bottom of your ink pad and then you have a nice strong handle. So when you are inking up your Misty and things like that, you don't have to worry about dropping your ink pad. And it gives you a nice firm grip on your ink pad instead of holding on to the edge of the ink pad. I've been using this the last couple of days and I really enjoy it. I have it on all of my black inks because I use those the most. So you're going to get one of those. You are going to get a pack of the glossy black paper um, so that you can use that with the new alcohol pearl inks. 
D, I'm showing what's coming in the uh, 8,000 subscriber giveaway. You're also going to get... some foilables so you're going to get a full pack of these 12 little mini foilables that you can make mini cards with you're going to get a pack of the little flower mini cards and again you can color these in with markers before you foil them you're going to get a foilable duster and then you're going to get this card kit which makes four cards of foilables there's also going to be some foil samples in there and some more items I just have not had a chance to throw in here yet. So that's some of the stuff the 8,000 subscriber winner is going to get. Now, how do you become eligible? You guys know, just make sure you're subscribed to my channel, which the majority of you guys already are. If you are not subscribed, I'm going to put a little link in the corner, which will have me holding my thumbs up, which will be your subscribe button. And um, if you tap on the little bell, you'll get notifications on when I go on live. And if you join us over at Nancy Stamps 15 at Instagram and Facebook, you will get extra entries. We're trying to raise our Instagram and Facebook followers as well. And you guys are just plain awesome. Now, the cards, all you have to do is um, join us. Send me an email with your mailing address, and I will try to send everybody who sends me your address a card. I do have quite a few cards made up, and I will try to get those cards out to you guys. So that's all I have for tonight. I'm just playing with my new favorite inks, my precious inks. Um, if you guys have any questions, as always, post them down below. I'm going to link Lisa Yang's video so you can go over to her page and see her video that she made on her stamp set here. Um, I thought it was a really cute stamp set, so I got it. And again, I appreciate all your thumbs ups and any questions or feedback that you guys have. Don't hesitate to ask me. I'm here to help in any way that I can. Um, I did a foil quill video earlier today. I have a creative vision stamps foiling video going up. I have a blue night rubber stamps video going up. I just got done recording the kitchen sink stamps for the, um, mod squad blog challenge. So anything else you guys want to see, let me know. I am working tomorrow and Tuesday, but Wednesday night, I may be able to post something for you guys then. All right. Thanks for watching guys. Bye-bye.